Hey everybody, Greg here. I am on my way to have dinner at the Hard Rock Cafe here in downtown Atlanta. It's quite an interesting place. Just ran into a homeless person and I was prepared. I actually brought my water with me that I got from the hotel. Went in and gave that to him. He was very grateful. Yeah, he, so. was, he was very happy. He was very happy, yeah. So, But anyway, we're, we're on our way to the Hard Rock and on the way, we're just kind of looking at some stuff. Someone has discarded their umbrella in the trash. It's not, 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 it's not gonna work. Not gonna work. I think this is officially the thinnest building in the whole world. Look at that, it's like one person wide. No, it's like three persons wide. Three persons wide? I think it gets wider on the back side. Yeah. Behind me is the Weston Hotel. Now I remember back in, I think it was 96 thereabouts, I actually stayed in that hotel and got to go eat dinner at the top of it. Now this is kind of weird. The way look at the way this step kind of just kind of like creates itself here. No, you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself. Don't do it. Uh, uh, well, I guess you succeeded. I died. You died. Check that out. That's cool. That must be where the Marta gets its power from. It's kind of like bumper cars. A little bit like bumper cars. These escape rooms are all the rage these days. But it sounds like so, sounds like something you do every day. At school. That's what they should call it, the escape room at school. You gotta stealthily sneak out of the classroom. Oh man, I guess I'm not gonna be able to come in here. I brought my nuclear weapons with me. Dang it! You got stars. Stars over there. Stars, stars over there. Right behind me is Elvis Presley's motorcycle. Wow, I did not expect to see that in here. Sure? Sure, it's a real one. I don't know. Pretty. It says it is. I'm guessing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna doubt them. They probably say. like a million of them. He, he, he probably had more than one motorcycle, but I, I bet this is one of his. Well, no, it looks different because you got the you got the logo you got the logo right here, but then on here it looks different. So I, I don't think that's the same the same motorcycle in the picture. And this is a guitar used by Richie Zambora. Richie Zambora? I can never pronounce his name. Richie Zambora from Bon Jovi. And there's some Jimi Hendrix clothes up there. That's probably a platinum record up there. And then some Stray Cats stuff up there. That is a stand-up bass signed by the players in the Stray Cats. Looks like Tina Turner's dress and Probably uh, a, a platinum record of hers as well up there. And up there is a shirt uh, worn by Keith Moon from The Who. Who? Who are, you, who are we talking about here? Do you remember when Chris Isaac was big? Yeah, no, not me neither. Me neither. This black Gibson Les Paul studio model guitar was used by Collective Soul. It's also been signed by guitarist. I, I don't know the guitarist. I'm sure you can tell me down in the comments who the guitarist is who played this guitar. Looks like Willie Nelson's guitar and a suit of his and then Johnny Cash's guitar along with a rather explicit photograph and right next to that is an Ella, Fitz uh, uh, Ella Fitzgerald dress. BB King. That's his guitar up there. And there's the guitar of one of my favorite bands of all time, Slash's guitar from Guns N' Roses. Oh yeah, you could be mine. And this is Slash's Velvet Revolver stage belt? Apparently it was worn by Slash in the Fall to Pieces video. It's kind of hard to see some of the pictures because the lights are shining directly on them. But that is Jimmy Page, that's his guitar, also with, I'm sure that's a platinum record up there. Very difficult to see with the lights, but I'm doing my best. The iPhone is not the greatest. That is James Brown's pants. Let's see if I can get closer. It's a little hard to see with the reflection on the glass here. Those are his pants. James Brown's pants! And then there's Dweezil Zappa's guitar. I thought that was always a weird... Anybody else think that's a weird name? Dweezil? Dweezil? I don't know. And then Frank Zappa. 
stars over there. And this is Tom Petty's guitar. Wow, I'm sensing a trend here. There's a lot of guitars in the Hard Rock Cafe. Again, you can't see this crazy light is like blocking out her face. You can't even see a good picture of it. But that's Janis Joplin. This one would belong to Edward Van Halen. He's the guy who woke up George McFly in the middle of the night. This is probably my favorite guitar because it looks like an axe. If you're a fan of this band, you probably know that it's Gene Simmons guitar from KISS. And here's some more dresses worn by the one and only Tina Turner. Anti-entity! Anti-entity! She almost killed Mad Max. I was very upset with that. You like this song, G? Come on, sing it. I don't know. Sing it. Sing it. You don't know the words? Oh. No double vlogging. Alright, so that's going to do it for the meal tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the inside of the Hard Rock Cafe here in Atlanta while I'm looking down at a banana peel and a dog walking past me. All right, hope you all have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching the video, and remember, the adventure is in you.